dear children welcome to today's episode on preparation of pure crystals from impure samples i'm sure you must have seen different crystals in your day to day life for example crystals of sodium chloride and of sugar let us try to understand what is a crystal and how crystals are prepared let us try to define it preparation of crystals a crystal is a clear transparent solid having a characteristic internal structure and is enclosed by symmetrically arranged plane surfaces intersecting at definite and characteristic angles a crystal system exists in the form of lattice now let us try to understand steps involved in preparation of crystals the first step is preparation of saturated solution of the substance vidyarthiyo ditti gayi matra nu ik beaker de vich pao fir kat to kat pani de vich ik glass rod nu लगातार हिलाते हुए इस सबस्टांस पानी दे घोलो एक सैचुरेटिड सोल्यूशन तैयार करो आओ हम प्रोसैस के बारे में जानिए फिल्टरेशन सैचुरेटिड सोल्यूशन जो कि असी फिल्टर करन तो बाद प्राप्त करते हाँ उस कुछ अशुद्धियाँ या कुछ सस्पेंडिड पार्टिकल्स होंगे इन्ह अशुद्धियाँ या सस्पेंडिड पार्टिकल्स को हटा दे इस सैचुरेटिड सोल्यूशन एक बार फिर फिल्टर करो इस फिल्टर की मात्रा न चाइना डिश विच इकट्ठा करो जिस तरह के इथे विखाया गया है विद्यार्थियों आओ हुन कंसंट्रेशन ऑफ द सॉल्यूशन दे बारे जानिए विद्यार्थियों इस सॉल्यूशन नु जो के फिल्टर करके चाइना डिश विच लिया गया है कंसंट्रेट करण ले एक वायर गेज से गर्म करना चाहिदा है ताकि असी क्रिस्टलाइन पॉइंट पे पहुंच सकिए क्रिस्टलाइजेशन पॉइंट नु टेस्ट करण ले एक ग्लास रॉड नु हॉट सॉल्यूशन दे विच पाओ अते इस दे ऊपर फूक मारो जे रॉड दे ऊपर सॉलिड क्रस्ट बन जावे ता समझ लो कि क्रिस्टलाइजेशन पॉइंट आ गया है हुन इस नु होर कंसंट्रेट करण दी जरूरत नहीं है एल्स द सॉल्यूशन इज कंसंट्रेटेड मोर टिल क्रिस्टलाइजेशन पॉइंट इज रीच्ड विद्यार्थियों आओ हुन असी कूलिंग ऑफ द हॉट सॉल्यूशन टू ऑब्टेन क्रिस्टल्स दे बारे जानदे हां चाइना डिश जिस दे विच हॉट सॉल्यूशन है नु कुछ समय तक बिना हिले जुले पे रहन दियो ठंडा होण ते ए सॉल्यूशन क्रिस्टल्स विच बदल जांदा है क्रिस्टलाइजेशन दे प्रोसेस नु फैसिलिटेट करण ले सीडिंग कीती जा सकदी है की तुसी जानदे हो कि ए सीडिंग की है सीडिंग इज introducing a small preformed crystal of the substance by the china dish due to which the crystals can easily form once the crystals are formed decant of the mother liquor that is the solution which is left when the crystals are formed separate the crystals dry them in the folds of filter paper crystals nu vakh kar lo 
ਅਤੇ ਇਹਨਾਂ ਨੂੰ ਫਿਲਟਰ ਪੇਪਰ ਦੇ ਫੋਲਡਸ ਵਿੱਚ ਸੁਕਾ ਲਓ children let us now learn about our chemistry practical about preparation of crystals of potash alum from the crude sample the objective of this experiment is to prepare crystals of potash alum from the crude sample materials required hun is experiment nu karan layi sanu kuch materials di lod hai इस एक्सपेरिमेंट दे ਲਈ ਸਾਨੂੰ ਚਾਹੀਦਾ ਹੈ ਸੈਂਡ ਬਾਥ ਚਾਈਨਾ ਡਿਸ਼ ਕਰੂਡ ਸੈਂਪਲ ਫਨਲ ਬੀਕਰ ਐਂਡ ਡਿਸਟਿਲਡ ਵਾਟਰ ਲੈਟ ਅਸ ਨਾਓ ਡਿਸਕਸ ਅਬਾਊਟ ਦ ਪ੍ਰੋਸੀਜਰ ਕਰੂਡ ਸੈਂਪਲ ਦੀ ਦਿੱਤੀ ਹੋਈ ਮਾਤਰਾ ਨੂੰ ਬੀਕਰ ਵਿੱਚ ਪਾਓ ਸੋਲੂਸ਼ਨ ਪ੍ਰਿਪੇਅਰ ਕਰਨ ਵਾਸਤੇ ਇਸ ਵਿੱਚ ਵਾਸ਼ ਬੋਟਲ ਚੋਂ ਡਿਸਟਿਲਡ ਵਾਟਰ ਪਾਓ ਟੇਕ ਮਿਨੀਮਮ ਅਮਾਊਂਟ ਆਫ ਵਾਟਰ ਟੂ ਡਿਸੋਲਵ ਦ ਸੈਂਪਲ ਸੋਲਿਡ ਪਾਰਟਿਕਲਸ ਨੂੰ ਚੰਗੀ ਤਰ੍ਹਾਂ ਮਿਕਸ ਕਰਨ ਲਈ ਮਿਕਸਚਰ ਨੂੰ ਗਲਾਸ ਰੋਡ ਨਾਲ ਹਿਲਾ ਕੇ ਡਿਸੋਲਵ ਕਰੋ ਹੁਣ ਸੋਲਿਡ ਨੂੰ ਹੋਰ ਚੰਗੀ ਤਰ੍ਹਾਂ ਡਿਸੋਲਵ ਕਰਨ ਲਈ ਬੀਕਰ ਨੂੰ ਬਰਨਰ ਤੇ ਰੱਖੋ ਅਤੇ ਗਰਮ ਕਰੋ ਜਦੋਂ ਤੱਕ ਇਹ ਅੱਛੀ ਤਰ੍ਹਾਂ ਗਰਮ ਨਾ ਹੋ ਜਾਵੇ ਮਿਕਸਚਰ ਨੂੰ ਹਿਲਾਉਂਦੇ ਰਹੋ ਇਨਸੋਲਿਊਬਲ ਪਾਰਟਿਕਲਸ ਨੂੰ ਰਿਮੂਵ ਕਰਨ ਲਈ ਮਿਕਸਚਰ ਨੂੰ ਫਿਲਟਰ ਕਰੋ ਸੋਲੂਸ਼ਨ ਨੂੰ ਚੰਗੀ ਤਰ੍ਹਾਂ ਹਿਲਾਓ and gently pour it along a glass rod which is held in a slanting position over the filtration cone this will make flow of liquid slowly and uniformly the lower end of glass rod should not touch the filter paper e is layi taake filter paper fat na jave hun is ਕਲੀਅਰ ਫਿਲਟਰੇਟ ਨੂੰ ਚਾਈਨਾ ਡਿਸ਼ ਵਿੱਚ ਕਲੈਕਟ ਕਰੋ ਦ ਇਨਸੋਲਿਊਬਲ ਇੰਪਿਉਰਿਟੀਆਂ ਆਰ ਲੈਫਟ ਐਸ ਰੈਸਿਡਿਊ ਔਨ ਦ ਫਿਲਟਰ ਪੇਪਰ ਪਲੇਸ ਦ ਡਿਸ਼ ਕੰਟੇਨਿੰਗ ਦ ਕਲੀਅਰ ਫਿਲਟਰੇਟ ਓਵਰ ਅ ਸੈਂਡ ਬਾਥ ਕੈਪਟ ਓਵਰ ਵਾਇਰ ਗੌਜ ਔਨ ਅ ਟ੍ਰਾਈਪੋਡ ਸਟੈਂਡ ਐਂਡ ਹੀਟ ਇਟ ਜੈਂਟਲੀ ਡੂ ਨਾਟ ਬੋਇਲ ਦ ਸੋਲੂਸ਼ਨ ਸੋਲੂਸ਼ਨ ਨੂੰ ਗਲਾਸ ਰੋਡ ਨਾਲ ਹੌਲੀ ਹੌਲੀ ਹਿਲਾਓ ਤਾਂ ਕਿ ਉਹ ਬਾਹਰ ਨਾ ਡਿੱਗੇ ਸਟਰਿੰਗ ਇਜ਼ ਡਨ ਟੂ ਇਨਸ਼ੋਰ ਯੂਨੀਫਾਰਮ ਇਵੈਪੋਰੇਸ਼ਨ ਐਂਡ ਟੂ ਪ੍ਰੀਵੈਂਟ ਫਾਰਮੇਸ਼ਨ ਆਫ ਸੋਲਿਡ ਕਰਸਟ ਜਦੋਂ ਸੋਲੂਸ਼ਨ ਦਾ ਵੋਲਿਊਮ ਰਿਡਿਊਸ ਹੋ ਕੇ ਲਗਭਗ ਅੱਧਾ ਰਹਿ ਜਾਵੇ ਤਾਂ take out a drop of the concentrated solution on one end of glass rod and cool it by blowing air if no crust gets deposited on the glass rod the solution requires further heating solution nu hilaunde raho ate is the crystallization point regular intervals te check karo formation of thin crust on blowing indicates that crystallization point has reached hun heating rok deo ate solution nu thanda hon deo the concentrated solution is cooled slowly for better yield of crystals ਜਿਵੇਂ ਹੀ ਸੋਲੂਸ਼ਨ ਠੰਡਾ ਹੁੰਦਾ ਹੈ ਇਸ ਦੇ ਕ੍ਰਿਸਟਲਸ ਸੈਪਰੇਟ ਹੋ ਜਾਣਗੇ ਡਿਕੈਂਟ ਦਾ ਸੁਪਰਨੇਟੈਂਟ ਔਰ ਦਾ ਮਦਰ ਲਿਕਰ ਇਨ ਅ ਬੀਕਰ ਕ੍ਰਿਸਟਲਸ ਨਾਲ ਕੁਝ ਲਿਕਵਿਡ ਅਜੇ ਵੀ ਲੱਗਿਆ ਹੋਇਆ ਹੈ 
ਇਨਾ ਵੈਟ ਕ੍ਰਿਸਟਲਸ ਨੂੰ ਫਿਲਟਰ ਪੇਪਰ ਦੇ ਉੱਤੇ ਪਾਓ ਇਨਾ ਨੂੰ ਫਿਲਟਰ ਪੇਪਰ ਦੇ ਫੋਲਡਸ ਵਿੱਚ ਆਰਾਮ ਨਾਲ ਦਬਾ ਕੇ ਸੁਕਾ ਲਵੋ ਦ ਕ੍ਰਿਸਟਲਸ ਆਫ ਪੋਟਾਸ਼ ਐਲਮ ਆਬਟੇਨਡ ਆਰ ਟ੍ਰਾਂਸਪੇਰੈਂਟ ਐਂਡ ਕਲਰਲੈਸ children let us now learn about the precautions precautions for heating the saturated solution a low flame should be used slow cooling yields crystals of definite shape while overheating gives solid crusts The solution should be heated till the crystallization point is achieved. Under and overheating should be completely avoided. When no crust gets deposited on the glass rod while checking the crystallization point and the solution is allowed to cool, no crystals form in the china dish. Heating the solution after attainment of crystallization point results in formation of solid crust instead of granular crystals. Proper crystals are only obtained when the solution is frequently checked for attainment of crystallization point and as soon as the point is reached heating is stopped. Cooling also affects the crystal size. Slow cooling yields big crystals, while small crystals are obtained on sudden cooling. Potassium sulfate and aluminum sulfate should be dissolved in separate beakers. Crystals to be washed with cold water. concentrated sulfuric acid must be added to prevent hydrolysis of aluminum sulfate to aluminum hydroxide seeding may be done to speed up the growth of the crystal summary children Till now we studied about the method of preparation of crystals of potash alum from its crude sample before we move ahead let me ask you a few questions my first question is what is a crystal and the answer is a crystal is a clear transparent solid having a characteristic internal structure and is enclosed by symmetrically arranged plane surfaces intersecting at definite and characteristic angles a crystal system exists in the form of lattice my next question is how can we make crystals from a solution of a substance and the answer is we can make crystals from super saturated solution of a substance my next question is how can we test for crystallization point and the answer is to test the crystallization point a glass rod is dipped into hot solution and air from the mouth is blown over it
if the formation of solid crust occurs, crystallization point is said to be reached and further concentration is not required, else the solution is concentrated more till crystallization point is reached. Next question is, how is the hot copper sulphate solution cooled to obtain crystals? And the answer is, the china dish containing hot solution is left undisturbed for some time. On cooling, this solution results in the formation of crystals. To facilitate the process of crystallization, seeding may be done. My next question is, what is seeding? And the answer is, seeding is introducing a small performed crystal of the substance into the china dish in which the crystals can easily form. The next question is, why is copper sulphate solution stirred? And the answer is, stirring is done to ensure uniform evaporation and to prevent formation of solid crust. My next question is, when can we be sure that crystallization point has reached? And the answer is, formation of thin crust on blowing indicates that crystallization point has reached. Next question is, why should the concentrated solution be cooled slowly? And the answer is, the concentrated solution is cooled slowly for better yield of crystals. Next question is, how are the crystals of potash alum in appearance? And the answer is, the crystals of potash alum are transparent and colourless. We will now learn about our next chemistry practical, which is preparation of copper sulphate crystals from impure sample of blue vitriol. The objective of the experiment is to prepare crystals of copper sulphate from impure sample of blue vitriol. Chalo hun requirements pare jaan de haan. Is experiment le lodinda saman e hai. Dilute sulfuric acid Distilled water, beaker, glass rod, china dish, funnel, crude sample of copper sulphate and filter paper. Children, let us now learn about the procedure of preparing crystals of copper sulphate from impure sample of blue vitriol. Beaker which impure copper sulphate di ditti gai matra lao. Blue vitriol da solution tayar karan lai Wash bottle which on distilled water low. Blue vitriol no dissolve currently, mixture no hilao. 
ਇਸ ਸੋਲੂਸ਼ਨ ਵਿੱਚ ਕੁਝ ਬੂੰਦਾਂ ਸਲਫਿਊਰਿਕ ਐਸਿਡ ਦੀਆਂ ਪਾਓ ਸਲਫਿਊਰਿਕ ਐਸਿਡ ਇਜ਼ ਐਡਡ ਟੂ ਕਲੀਅਰ ਦ ਸੋਲੂਸ਼ਨ ਇਟ ਆਲਸੋ ਪ੍ਰੀਵੈਂਟਸ ਦ ਹਾਈਡ੍ਰੋਲਿਸਿਸ ਆਫ ਕਾਪਰ ਸਲਫੇਟ ਟੂ ਕਿਊਪਰਿਕ ਆਕਸਾਈਡ ਇਸ ਸੋਲੂਸ਼ਨ ਨੂੰ ਫਿਲਟਰ ਪੇਪਰ ਦੁਆਰਾ ਫਿਲਟਰ ਕਰੋ द सॉल्यूशन इज जेंटली पोर्ड अलोंग अ ग्लास रॉड जो के फिल्ट्रेशन कोन विच स्लैंटिंग पोजीशन विच पई हुई है ग्लास रॉड दा लोअर एंड फिल्टर पेपर नु टच नहीं करना चाहिदा हुन चाइना डिश विच क्लियर फिल्ट्रेट नु कलेक्ट करो द इन सॉल्यूबल इंप्योरिटीज आर लेफ्ट एज residue on the filter paper place the dish containing the clear filtrate over wire gauge kept over a tripod stand and heat it gently par solution nu boil na karo solution nu glass rod nal hilao stirring is done to ensure uniform evaporation and to prevent formation of solid crust jado solution da volume kat ke lagbhag adha reh jave ta glass rod de ik sire te concentrated solution di ik boond lao ate is nu hawa nal thanda karo formation of thin crust indicates that crystallization point has reached is nu garam karna band kar deyo ate solution nu thanda hon deyo the concentrated solution is cooled slowly for better yield of crystals solution de thanda hon te crystals separate ho jange hun washed crystals nu ਇੱਕ ਫਿਲਟਰ ਪੇਪਰ ਤੇ ਪਾਓ ਡਰਾਈ ਥੈਮ ਬਾਈ ਪ੍ਰੈਸਿੰਗ ਥੈਮ ਜੈਂਟਲੀ ਬਿਟਵੀਨ ਫੋਲਡਸ ਆਫ ਫਿਲਟਰ ਪੇਪਰ ਦਾ ਕ੍ਰਿਸਟਲਸ ਆਫ ਕਾਪਰ ਸਲਫੇਟ ਆਬਟੇਨਡ ਆਰ ਟ੍ਰਾਂਸਪੇਰੈਂਟ ਐਂਡ ਬਲੂ ਇਨ ਕਲਰ ਦੇ ਹੈਵ ਡੈਫੀਨਿਟ ਟ੍ਰਾਈਕਲੀਨਿਕ ਜੈਮੈਟਰੀ children now let us learn about the precautions the crystals should be evaporated to dryness by gently heating it it should never be heated to dryness slow cooling yields crystals of definite shape while overheating gives powdery crystals cooling also affects the crystal size slow cooling yields big crystals while small crystals are obtained on heating at high temperature children we have learned today about the preparation of copper sulfate crystals from impure sample of blue vitriol we first discussed the objectives of the experiment then we discussed the materials required for the experiment we then discussed the procedure of the experiment in which we learned that copper sulfate was dissolved in water in a beaker to prepare its solution few drops of sulfuric acid were added to it to clear the solution to prevent hydrolysis of copper sulfate to cupric oxide and then the solution was filtered the clear filtrate was then collected and heated gently when the volume of the solution was reduced to half crystallization point was checked by blowing air the solution was then allowed to cool and the crystals separated 
and write. Children, now that we have learned so much, let me ask you a few questions. My first question is, why is sulfuric acid added to the solution of copper sulfate? And the answer is, sulfuric acid is added to the solution of copper sulfate in order to prevent its hydrolysis to cupric oxide. Next question is, why is the solution stirred when the solution of copper sulphate is evaporated? And the answer is, the solution of copper sulphate is stirred to ensure uniform evaporation. My next question is, how will you confirm that the crystallization point has reached. And the answer is, when the volume of the solution is reduced to almost one half, take out a drop of the concentrated solution on one end of glass rod and cool it by blowing air. Formation of thin crust indicates that crystallization point has reached. Next question is, why is the solution cooled slowly? And the answer is, the solution is cooled slowly for better yield of crystals. Next question is, how are the crystals dried? And the answer is, the crystals are dried by pressing them gently between the folds of filter paper. Next question is, what is the color of crystals of copper sulphate? And the answer is, Copper sulphate crystals are transparent and blue in color. Next question is, what kind of geometry do copper sulphate crystals have? And the answer is, copper sulphate crystals have triclinic geometry. Next question is, how should the crystals be evaporated? And the answer is, crystals should be evaporated to dryness by gently heating it. Next question is, what will happen if we overheat the solution? And the answer is, overheating the solution gives powdery crystals. Next question is, how does cooling affect the crystal size? And the answer is, slow cooling yields big crystals, while small crystals are obtained on heating at high temperature. Children, hope you enjoyed today's lesson as much as I enjoyed. See you in your next class. Till then, bye.